Hi, I'm John Ellis. Today we're talking goals. Thoughts become things. So by writing down your goals, it is like communicating with your subconscious. Most millionaires do this on a daily basis. What we're going to do today is show you how to do it in a minimal amount of time to get the most results. There's nothing you can do to put such minimal effort into accomplishment than by writing your goals down. It's half of the battle. Before we get started, we're going to be extracting thoughts from the subconscious using a rant in about two minute segments. The two minute segments we'll use on each item, personal expression, relationships, spiritual, mind, emotion, and intellect, your dollars, your stuff, your body, your movement, nutrition. It should flow into your purpose. It should have no limits and lots of urgency. You need about 12 minutes total. Lay your sheets out, have a timer, have it to where you're, you're going to get no interruptions and, and, and go and hit it. Because this will, this is the most profound extraction because it's, it's coming from your subconscious. It's not even part of the goal section. The goal part of it will be the next part of it. But this really, this extraction part is magic and you're going to have a lot of fun with it and it's, it's going to change your life. All right. So the, the last section is. Well, let's, let's briefly talk about the other section. You should have about 30 on each one of them, 30 uh, items, and you shouldn't ask how. They should be outrageous. They should be, you know, beyond the sky's limit. And now, now before you do anything else, you need to say who's going to help you. With any of these goals, who's going to support you? You can't have somebody that'll, that'll say you couldn't do that or that's outrageous. You've got to have somebody that really supports you, whether it's a hired coach, a life coach, a friend you know you can count on. Whoever that is, make you, if if you don't have a professional that you're paying, you probably need to have three three to five people because they're going to be busy. They're they're not being paid to be at your beck and call. So um, try to come up with four or five people that will really support you in any of these goals that are leading toward your purpose. Then what? So the what is prioritizing them. So taking these 35 and trying to get it down to your top 10 and eliminating the other ones. You're not really eliminating them, you're just trying to bring your focus down. You can bring those back into the focus once you accomplish these 10. After you get the 10, you're going to go to 3. You're going to bring it down to 3. So now you'll have 18 on a, on a page of your priorities. And those 18 are what you're going to focus on on these 6 categories. Um, then when. When, you got to go through all 18 and put a specific date when the accomplishment's going to be done. I mean, write down, you can even have fun with it, write down to the, you know, July 14th, you know, at 5 p.m. of 2012, for example. I mean, be as specific as you can. Who's going to be there celebrating? Anything you can do with when to tie that date in strong. Here's the biggest piece. The biggest piece is why. You've got to have as many whys as possible. Why do you want to, let's use the example of, of one of my big goals to be at 185. So 185 uh, to me, my, my why is leverage, as much leverage as I can. I'll, I'll live longer. I'll have more energy. I'll be able to help more people. It all goes toward my purpose where I've got a lot of why, a lot of leverage. So um, this simple process, a lot of the millionaires do it daily, even if you could do it weekly. If you're, if you're not doing them but once a year, try doing it at least once a month. Uh, pick a specific date the first of the month to start it, and you'll, you'll watch your life transform in an amazing way right off the bat. Good luck and have fun.